yeah, it's safe to say that I like this album. Yo, what up? It's your boy Black with Black TV, where we give you reviews and hip hop news. And today, I'm about to do a review on YG's fourth studio album, For Real, For Real. For Real, For Real, For Real, For Real. But don't forget to hit subscribe to Black TV for more reviews and more reactions. Hit that like button. And in the comment section below, Tell me your favorite YG song. What do you like about this album? What you dislike about this album? Tell me in the comment section. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get into YG's For Real, For Real, For Real. What a, what a four, what a four. YG just released his fourth debut album, For Real, For Real. And I must say, it really surprised me. Like his last album, Stay Dangerous, it was a pretty okay album. I Like before, I didn't get a chance to do a review on it because I was incognito for about a year. But I did listen to it and it was pretty good. It was pretty okay. It was bass heavy and it had a lot of uh, great anthems on it, as, as I must say. But for real, for real, in my opinion, it's my personal best YG project that he has ever put out. I mean, you know, because the content is more relatable to uh, his fan base. Like, compared to his last three albums, like, this album is more relatable. Like, the content and the songs and the issues and the lyrics are more relatable to, to the average going person. But let's go ahead and get into the cover. The cover is basically four pictures of him with the number four on his chest. I mean, I would I would assume that this is resembling his fourth album. I mean, it's pretty plain. It's pretty, you know, all right. But them socks, bruh. Them socks. <sighs> but, hey, that's his preference. That's the style in the West Coast. I'm not knocking you, bruh. I'm not knocking you. But going into my likes on For Real, For Real, like I said before, the album is more relatable for us in the content it has. Like on track seven, Keisha Had a Baby featuring Rose Gold. It's basically a song telling about a girl that's going through her younger years, getting pregnant by this guy and how the guy treated her or whatnot. It resembles much like Tupac, Brenda's Got a Baby, not as not as graphic but more simplistic as far as what's going on now and today as far as women getting pregnant that's younger and track eight heart to heart featuring meek mill telling basically how he feel towards the people that's really close to him and you know what will he do for his friends and the people that's close around him and i must say both of these tracks have this singer named rose gold on it she does a she does an okay job. As far as an unknown, I really personally don't know any kind of work she have done, but she does a pretty good job of singing on these songs. And I also like that the G-Funk production on this album is perfect. I mean, I know YG isn't really any stranger to any kind of G-Funk production, like working with DJ Mustard and working with other artists in the West Coast, but you know, I really, I'm really feeling, feeling the G-Funk production on this album, especially track two bottle service talking about basically just people being broke and in, in mid verses, it has a girl talking about why you don't bring, why you broke tail in the service ain't ordering no bottles. Why you ain't ordering no bottles? And track three in the dark. I, I will say as far as this is the best instrumental on this album but basically the content on this on this song is him talking about doing miscellaneous stuff in the dark but it's, it's it sounds nice it sounds nice i'm not really expecting no high high lyricism for yg yg is not that type of artist but if you but YG brings that type of music where you can vibe to it, you can ride to it, or whatever, whatnot, and he accomplished that 
superfluous, su- supreme, superb. I know I'm trying to use big words, but just, 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 just ride with it. Just go with it. Just go with it. And I will say, track five, stop snitching. I know everybody that heard this song before, but my personal thoughts on it is that you know he made this song specifically for uh six nine i mean he's really just saying a lot of disrespectful stuff about six nine on it i mean i'm i was i was a big six nine fan but ever since this whole thing about him getting caught doing in the rico case and all that you know yeah he had it coming and the last thing i really like about this album is track 13 my last words with the nipsey tribute you know that was a really uh thing that's that was a track that i really salute him to even put on this album because you know he took a clip from the uh nipsey hustle uh funeral they had on b the bet well bet channel and where he got up on the podium and told his thoughts about and told his thoughts about Nipsey Hussle and his encounterment with Nipsey and that was a big thing in my eyes because you know he's a blood Nipsey's a crip and you know just 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 him saying that they was close friends was is a big thing as far as him putting that on the album even on the front cover he says in loving memory of Nipsey Hussle and that just takes a big guy to do but my favorite song on for real for real is track four go loco featuring tiger and john c z not c z this song right here really is really something different that yg has done i never really heard anything yg did like this before it seems like everybody is going to different genres and doing their own little thing like cardi b you know she doing the whole latino thing with that i like it like that then you got lil nas with the old town road now you got tiger with the whole uh spanish vibe type song and i like that hip-hop artists is going to different genres and exploring their talents because you know other genres been doing hip hop for that for a long time, bruh. A long time. But as far as my dislikes, it's not a lot of stuff that I really don't dislike about this album. It's just that, you know, track 14, you know, Stop Snitching remix featuring the baby, you know. I hate when artists, you know, remix a song, they just take a verse out and just stick another artist in. You know, Megan Thee Stallion did that with a big old freak. She took a verse out and put plies in it. You know, YG also did this with Stop Snitching. Like, if you're going to do a remix, just remix your verse, bruh. That would have made the song even more do- dope. Like, quit being lazy. That's just a pet peeve of mine when artists do, do that. It's just personally. I just hate that. But the only gripe I really have about YG For Real For Real is that, you know, it has a a bit too many artists on here. But I will say that he don't have a a lot of major features, major artist features on here. The only really major artist features he have on here is Meek Mill, Tiger, The Baby, and Ty Dolla Sign. Everybody else is pretty much people that's under his camp or people that he know of. But you know what I'm saying? I mean, I, it's nothing really to gripe about, about for real, for real. It's, it's, it's a great project. But I will say my least favorite song is track 12, Her Story featuring De Salon. I mean, this track is more of a track to help his artists get on. I, I would imagine that De Salon is his artist and he wanted to uh, promote her as far as her artist this it basically yg's not even on this song it's just her and he just wanted to you know showcase her and the song is it ain't bad but it ain't good neither so if i had to pick a song that i didn't like on this album it will be that track 12 her story i mean it could have been left off man it could have been left off but let me go ahead and rate yg's for real for real i'm gonna give this album and eight out of ten yeah i know i know you wasn't really expecting that kind of rating from me but that's why i like doing reviews is that you never know you never know so many so many albums might be good it might be bad but yg really haven't really just put out a terrible project and me personally this is my 
personal favorite in his, this in his discography. So I'm gonna give for real, for real, an eight out of 10. But the most important question is, what do you think of YG's For Real, For Real? Do you like it? Do you hate it? Do you think my rating is too high? Is it too low? What is your favorite song? What is your weakest song on the project? Put it in the comment section below. And with that being said, I'll holla next time on Black TV.